I want to work a problem here on finding the equation of a line given one point on the line and the slope of the line. But before I do that, I want to tell you that we've added some new features to our Math TV site. In particular, we've added the playlist feature, which allows you to make a playlist up of just the videos that you want to see in that playlist. Uh, then you can take the playlist and share it with your friends if you want. Good uh, way to just pick out some videos that you may want to look at later to study for an exam, something like that. So I think you'll like that playlist feature. If you haven't been to Math TV in a while, you might want to take a look. Okay, so here we want to find the equation of a line if the slope of the line is negative 2 and the point negative 4, 3 is on the line. Well, here we have two forms of the equation of a line that we can use to solve this problem right here. This is called the point-slope form of the equation of a line, and this is the slope-intercept form of the equation of a line. So let's start with this one right here. Uh, I want to use this form of the equation of the line to find the equation if I'm given one point, x1, y1, and the slope. Well, I am. I'm given the slope. There's m right there. And here's the point, x1, y1. So all I have to do is take this value of x1, which is negative 4, this value of y1, which is 3, and this value of m, which is negative 2, substitute in here, and I'll have the equation of that line. So let's do that. y subtract y1, which is 3, is equal to m, which is negative 2, times x subtract x1, which is negative 4. Well, x subtract negative 4 is going to be the same thing as x plus 4, so I'll just write it that way. Okay, that's the equation of that line. Now all I'm going to do is simplify it a little bit. So I have y minus 3 is equal to negative 2x minus 8. You want to remember to multiply the negative 2 times both the x and the 4. So negative 2 times x, negative 2x, negative 2 times 4, negative 8. Now let's see, I can simplify a little further by just adding 3 to both sides. So I get y is equal to negative 2x minus 4. Five. So when I add 3 to both sides, negative 8 plus positive 3 is going to give me negative 5. Okay, so there's the equation of that line that has a slope of negative 2 and passes through the point negative 4, 3. Now, some people I know don't like to memorize this form of the equation of the line. They like to just use the slope-intercept form every time. So uh, let's do the same problem again using this form of the equation of the line. If I'm going to use this form of the equation of the line, I need two things, the slope m and the y-intercept b. Well, I have the slope m, it's negative 2, so I can start by just substituting in negative 2 for m. So y is equal to negative 2x plus b. So there's almost the equation of the line. I need one more thing, I need this y-intercept b. Well, I'm going to have to use this piece of information here. This point is on this line, which means that if I substitute in the coordinates of this point into this equation, I'll get a true statement. So let's do that. I'm going to take x equal negative 4, y equal 3, and substitute in here. So y is equal to 3 equals negative 2 times x, which is negative 4, plus b. Well, this has to be a true statement. If this point is on this line, then this is a true statement. Well, this is going to tell me what b has to be. So I end up with this. 3 is equal to negative 2 times negative 4, positive 8, plus b. I want to solve for b, so I'll add negative 8 to both sides. Negative 5 is equal to b. So here I have the value of b. Here I have the value of m, and so now I can write the equation of the line, which is y is equal to negative 2, which is the slope, x, plus b, which is negative 5. So you can see, either way I do this problem, I end up with y equal negative 2x minus 5. If I do it this way, using the slope-intercept form of the line, I get that equation, and if I use this form, the point slope form of the equation of the line, I get the same equation. So either way you want to do this problem, you're always going to end up with the same result.